What's up Giant Slayers? Brandon here from David vs. Clive BJJ. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, one of my favorite sequences uh, to work on when facing a big guy, uh, starting from the open guard, going all the way to a finish. Uh, if you guys want to learn, keep on watching. Starting from the open guard, um, a lot of times I don't like to pass through my knees and get into a situation where I'm tied up with Tim super closely. Um, so I like to stand up to my feet, I have a little bit more mobility, and I can use my footwork and my speed advantage um, against the bigger guy. Okay, so I'll often stand, right? Uh, so I can start to move and cut angles. But uh, one of my favorite uh, passes from here is I just look to get this guy from a seated guard position uh, and I try to put him on his back. Okay, so sometimes I'll push the head, sometimes I'll push the shoulders, right? Sometimes I'll pick an ankle and push the shoulder, right? It doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to create force forward and, uh, and focus on getting Tim to post the hand on the mat. Okay, so a lot of times if I go to push, he's not gonna accept me uh, pushing him all the way to his back. Okay, ideally if I do push him down, okay, he falls on his back, and then I can start to work my Tori Hunt passes and, and run around. Okay, but a lot of times when we're fighting big guys, realistically, it doesn't happen. Okay, I go to push Tim, he pulls the hand on the mat. Okay, I'm trying to get him down to his butt. He's not letting me. Okay, so a lot of times I'll use that push as a setup. I know he doesn't want to go down. All right, I'm gonna use that resistance to come back towards me. Okay, so a lot of times it'll look something like this. Okay, I push him, hand on the mat, okay, and then I pull him. Okay, and then I look to get a front headlock position, right, where I'm cupping his chin, and then I'm gonna get a scoop grip. Uh, wrestlers, I believe, call it a nadir ride, where I get my hand on the inside of Tim's uh, thigh here. Okay, and notice how my knees are off the mat. I just hook the circle, okay, towards the front headlock side here. Boom. Okay. I look to pass. This is a very strong pass. I'm holding on to Tim's chin right here, okay? And this navy ride is helping me uh, to keep him flat, okay? So if Tim tries to fight up right here, it's normally pretty good control. I can also flare my hand out here. Again, staying off my knees, driving off my toes, trying to get this pass and secure, okay? So that's usually my first move. If I can get him flat, I'll release, often come to a cross face, okay? Fight up for an underhook. Okay, maybe even a knee belly to secure the top. But again, assuming uh, Tim's a talented big guy, he's not gonna accept uh, that pass uh, right away. Okay, so a lot of times, again, I push him, he pulls, I snap him forward using that momentum, front headlock, okay, maybe right, a circle. Okay, look, Tim's already getting an underhook on me. Okay, he's looking to uh, leg scissors and come up to the top as he does that. Okay, I'm looking to turn the corner. And a lot of times, I want to avoid his power. If I stay in front of him, he's going to single leg me, he's going to take me down, or I'm going to end up battling his strength. So I take that moment in transition to uh, spin behind him. Okay, I want to use that as an opportunity to create a scramble and uh, be in a, a better position here. Hey, okay, once I land here, I'm in the turtle. I like to ride hip to hip. Okay, I'll often open up the collar with uh, my right hand here. Okay, and I'll sneak my hat in, okay, to the lapel. Trying to get this L sign, <laughs> like a loser sign here, uh, behind Tim's ear, here, okay? Uh, but a lot of times when we're here, it's not that easy. Okay, Tim's usually guarding with his hands. Okay, and big guys are really hard to take out a turtle. I don't always like to take the back, just because when I take the back, there's a possibility Tim shakes me off over the falls. Okay, so a uh, really good move you guys can start to practice is we're here, riding hip to hip, and I just make noise with my foot. I walk my foot around, I want to draw attention, yeah. And a lot of times, big guys will fish that foot. Okay, sometimes they're gonna pull your ankle underneath you. They're gonna try and take you down. But, you guys use that as a setup. Okay, you guys can uh, transition to a crucifix and a clock chew. Okay, so here, it comes out, boom. Okay, I catch that hand. Okay, now that frees me up. Okay, I have one less hand that I have to worry about. If this hand is in the way, I can start to come over it, pin it two on one, okay, and then look to get the collar. Okay, now I'm gonna clock choke. I can also try and arm bar this arm if I want to, all right, or I can release it, step over, okay, and go for my finish by pulling my elbow up. Okay, so a lot of little details, uh, but I wanna show you guys the sequence. Okay, so coming back. All right, we're in an open guard situation. I'm standing over 10, okay, boom, here. Your belly's out. 
Okay, can't get it here. <laughs> so one more time, guys. Okay, so again, uh, I don't like to let my legs hang up too close right here. Then you come up on a single leg and take me down. Okay, so be mindful as you guys are approaching uh, to not give your leg too much. Okay, but because the wall's behind me, I'm a little closer to him right now. But again, I'm pushing. Boom, snap. Okay, maybe right here. I circle, I'm trying to get my pass. I'm trying to get a flat. It's not working. Okay, come behind. Okay, sometimes you'll be able to catch a guy right off the bat. Boom, sneak your hand in real quick. Trap this hand off the shoulder and finish. Uh, if you're quick and you're able to get there other times, again, we land here. Okay, bait, boom, I catch, okay, I secure, and I look to finish, and I always come up and over here. Okay, so try that out, you guys. I'm gonna leave a link above uh, to a follow-along drill session. I'm gonna be hitting this for a couple minutes. If you guys wanna work this into your game, uh, be sure to click that video uh, above or leave the link below. Uh, that way you guys can train with me, add that to your arsenal, very common or successful uh, sequence that I get into, uh, oftentimes when we're only with the bigger guys, uh, take advantage of that open guard situation, create a scramble, get to the back, and uh, try it out guys, let me know how it works out for you.